Hello, this is Ray Snow. So, on the last video, I explained how to export your game as a JAR file, J-A-R file, so, so that way your friends also can play your game. But, like this one, so this program is using this uh, JPEG image, like this, like this, and so, yeah, we have created this resource folder inside of this project. And so if the program includes this resource folder, then exporting jar file becomes a bit more complicated. So first, let me try to export this adventure yeah, with image like we did on the last video. So right click on the project name and export and select the jar file and the next and adventure with image and okay so next time i'm gonna select choose name adventure with image and the next and the next so select the class of the application entry point, browse and the game and OK and finish. Uh, there is a warning here, but uh, don't, you, you don't need to worry about this basically and uh, click OK. And so yeah, this one, Adventure with Image dot jar has been created. And uh, so if you double click this, then you can run this program. Hmm. So it seems it's working, but here there is no image. No image. You are at the crossroad, no image, go west. You encounter goblin, but no image of goblin. Hmm. Okay, so if you run this program from this eclipse, then you can see this image. Yeah, so you can see this goblin picture, even though it doesn't look like goblin at all, but uh, yeah, but you can see an image at least, but you cannot see the image if you run the program by clicking the jar file. And so to avoid this situation, so we have to change our code a little bit. So I'm going to explain how to do it from now on. First thing you need to do is let's right click on this project name. So in this case, adventure with image, right click and select this properties. And now this Java uh, build pass hmm. now here and so then select this source tab source and choose this add folder and here click this less folder and OK and so now this uh, less folder has been added as source folder OK and click apply and OK. So the first preparation is done and the next one is we're gonna change our code a little bit. So this is the code of this adventure with image we have created before. And the first, so here this line, image equal new image icon. And so basically we specified the location of this JPEG image, in this case, TownGate JPEG. And so we are loading this image with this line, with this code. And so, yeah, we're gonna change this line a little bit. So let's comment out here for now. And uh, so you're gonna type like this, image equal new image icon and get class and dot get class loader dot get resource and then here town gate dot jpg hmm. 
yeah, like this. So it was shorter before. Yeah, image icon and the, this location now. But now you, yeah, we need to type like this image icon, get class, get class folder, and get resource. And you need to type, you need to type the name of your JPEG file in this case here. Mm. And you don't need to type, you know, this kind of thing, like a slash slash less and this, this kind of things anymore. Because we have specified this resource folder as a uh, yeah, source folder. So you just need to type the name of your uh, yeah, picture name. And so this line as well. This line also loading this JPEG picture. So yeah, so we can copy this one and uh, paste here. And uh, we will not use this line anymore. So we, you can delete this. And another, there is another one, I think, here, crossload picture. So whenever you load a picture by typing like this, then uh, you need to rewrite the code yeah, like this. So I think I'm going to copy this and paste here. But in this case, uh, you need to load this crossload picture. So I'm going to change this town gate to crossload. And we don't need this line anymore. And I think there is another one, goblin picture. Yeah, this one. So, okay, let's comment out here. And, uh, no, uh, and uh, copy this, paste here, and change this crossroad to goblin. Hmm. Okay, I think that's everything. We have used three pictures for this game, so I think that's everything. Okay. Okay, so let's let's run this program from Eclipse for now. So let's check if this new program is working properly or not. So okay, let's start and start. Okay, so you can see this town gate picture, and if you leave, and so crossroad picture, and uh, yeah, goblin picture. So so it seems everything is working. Okay, so then let's create a jar file, and see if you can still see these images. Yeah. So here, the so right click here, adventure with image. And uh, now export, so just like we did last time, and then jar file, and the next, okay, and uh, yeah, here, and uh, adventure with image, and the next, and the next, and choose main class, so this game, and okay, and finish. The file adventure with image already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes, let's overwrite it. Okay. And so now, yeah, new adventure with image dot jar has been created. So, okay. Let's finish these things and, um, so let's double click this. Okay. Adventure started and yeah so you can still see the image yeah so everything is working properly hmm yeah yeah so yeah this way so you can export your program as a jar file and uh you know Give it to your friends or other people, and uh, your friends also can play your game, even if it, it includes this image resource folders. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and see you again. Bye.